students in a series of area and parameter. Today's topic is area of a square and rectangle with a special reference to word problems. Let us see first word problem. Mary is making a quilt from square pieces of cloth. She fits 10 pieces along one side and 15 pieces along the other. How many pieces does she need? At first thing, you need to understand that the quilt is of rectangular shape. So, we can say number of pieces needed for length equals to 15 and number of pieces needed for breadth equals to 10. So, what is the formula to find out area for rectangle? That is area equal to length into breadth. So, let us put the values 15 multiply 10. It means 150 pieces. So, we can say that Mary will need 150 pieces to make that quilt. Let us see next question. What is the area of the front of a watch that is 25 mm wide and 23 mm high? So, here is the watch. You can see the watch is of rectangular shape. It means we can say width of the watch that is 25 mm and height of the watch that is 23 mm. That is length and breadth of a rectangular shape. So, we will put the formula like this area equal to length into breadth and here we can write this is width into height. It is same. So, here 25 into 23 we will multiply it and always remember that unit will be here millimeter square because the unit of area is square millimeter or millimeter square in this question. So, our answer is 575 millimeter square and area of the front of the watch is 575 millimeter square. To one more question, here is compare the areas of a square 15 cm on each side and a rectangle 11 cm by 8 cm. Which figure has a greater area and how much? Here are two figures. One is square with side 15 cm each. Another one is a rectangle which has length 11 cm and breadth 8 cm. At first, we will find out area of a square. We know the formula that is side into side. So, we will put the values that is 15 cm into 15 cm and it will be like this 225 cm into cm and we can write like this also 225 square centimeters or in this way also 225 cm square. Now find out the area of rectangle. Area of rectangle equals to length into breadth. So we will put the values 11 cm into 8 cm that is 88 cm into cm or we can say 88 square centimeters or either 88 cm square. So which figure has the greater area? Yes, the square because the area of a square is 200. 25 centimeter square. Let us do one more question. Here is a rectangle field measures 400 meter by 100 meter and a square field 200 meter by 200 meter. Do the two fields have the same area? Which field requires more fencing and by how much? So here is again two figures. One is square and side of a square field equals to 200 meter. Another one is a rectangular field. Here, length of rectangular field equals to 400 meter and breadth of rectangle field equals to 100 meter. Now, at first find out the area for both the figures. Area of a square equals to, we know side into side. It means 200 meter into 200 meter. That is equals to 40,000 square meters. And area of rectangle equals to Length into breadth, it means 400 meter into 100 meter. That is also equals to 40,000 square meters. It means we can say the two fields have the same area. Now, here in next question, which field requires more fencing? I have already told you when we will talk about the fencing, it means we are talking about the border of the figures. It means it is parameter. So, let us find out parameter of a square and the formula is 4 into side. Let us put the value 4 multiply 
200 meter that is equals to 800 meter and parameter of rectangle equals to we know 2 multiply in bracket length plus breadth so let us put the values 2 multiply 400 plus 100 meter it means it is 2 multiply 500 meter that is equals to 1000 meter it means we can say rectangle field requires more fencing by 200 meter how came 1000 minus 800 equals to 200 meter and that rectangle field required more fencing than a square field so in mathematics what you need to do yes practice because practice makes perfect so do practice